Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Benson and Walshy casting online qualifier number five. And I am super stoked because the storyline that I want so very much, <laughs> we get to watch right now. Orbit versus Liquid. It's going to be a CTF Coliseum game number one. And uh, pressure on Orbit. They need a minimum of a top two placement today. It's going to be very tough, yes. But if they are able to achieve that, they will qualify. That is huge, huge stress on these players' shoulders. Can they do it? Walsh, you're very pessimistic. You don't believe it. I, I do. Obviously, Orbit, they are going to be our blue squad and Liquid, our red squad. And I, I want to watch someone from, from Orbit. Honestly, it doesn't matter who. I just want to watch all of Orbit at once. Give me all four perspectives. I, I'm a all fan right. now, Walsh. I'm a fan. Let's jump on right with Dramas then, who has Sniper. It gets back smacked by APG, who's sitting over on that sneaky ledge. So that's not the best start. That's three members down of Orbit. We're going to have to see what they can do to make sure that Liquid does not push in get full map control and get some sort of cap, but it looks like they're doing a decent job of buying time. And uh, yeah, as we can see, I don't see this as being an exact opportunity, at least not the moment for Liquid to get a cap. Liquid have been notorious for their consistent finishes in these online qualifiers. Their top eight, top eight, they got a top four finish in that as well. So this is not gonna be an easy task for the boys at Orbit. And as I say that, everyone down apart from Sweaty Eddie. And Eddie at the back of his base, just trying to lock it down. Luckily, uh, that three plays down shouldn't cost them too badly. It's only going to cost them a little bit of map control. The importance now is they are able to slay out as Liquid push, but sadly, the slaying is not going to occur. Another three players fall. That sweaty Eddie left last alive. Once again, Crouch with the Assault Rifle and legit's going to challenge Bridge. And right now, if you look at the slaying coming in, it is all Liquid, Walsh. Yeah, Liquid just had control of those power weapons. Ace had Sniper and Rockets, eventually pushing towards Fountain. It looks like we do have that flagpole over from Kevin, AKA Unlegit, who brought all the way towards Bomb Center. Two players do go down. Hines trying to cover that flag. The return's gonna come in, but the assassination from Hines. Will he be able to get the second? The melee almost managed to find two. That would have been very impressive. Instead, is able to pick up the assistant. I found that really interesting because Hines actually using the assassination animation Something a lot of, of pros, you know, they, they disable that because of the time it takes. And that actually almost cost him there. That would have been pretty interesting to see if maybe he'd been caught out there. If maybe Orbit had reacted a little quicker, they could Did have stopped that kill. recovery still? Because I believe that still caught, uh, cost him the flag recovery. I could be wrong about that situation. They might have gotten it beforehand. But regardless, as you said, yeah. Um, when you're in this top level play, you can't go for those fancy plays. However, at the same time, I think a lot of these players still enjoy to, you know, have assassinations on or animations on when they're playing online. But if that ended up costing them in an online qualifier, that would be devastating. It'd be pretty funny too. I hate to be that guy, but it would be it would be amusing. It would be amusing. But yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised to see players uh, actually have that on. But either way, um, game still a zero zero. The flag was returned. Sniper up in ten. You're going to see Orbit making a big push over towards that sniper rifle side. Three players being dedicated to it. Unfortunately, uh, Firebird will fall. It's going to be Ace over there from Liquid. Sniper's still down. Trevor Holic making the push through. He's going to be able to pick up a couple kills. There is that sniper rifle. He's going to get challenged. Goes for the no-scope and misses. And his body fell off. I'm pretty sure those sniper rifle didn't. It's going to be Ace. I'm pretty sure Ace snagged it. I'm yeah, trying. Uh, I'm looking at Ace's POV. Ace not only snagged that sniper from Trevor Holic, but he also grabbed the ammo from the new one. So... This is going to be a very dangerous situation because Ace is just doing a great job of denying the angle of rockets, and that's what's going to guarantee them Liquid's first capture. Yep. Now, as we wait to see Ace jumps back up top, has Trevaholic directly in front of him, puts a couple of shots in, and one assist comes in as Heinz cleaning up Firebird. Of course, Liquid do have the advantage in the game, so pressure on Orbit, but so far it isn't a dominating performance like you would expect to see from Liquid. I mean, we watched Liquid earlier on in the day, Walsh, and um, we weren't particularly blown away, I guess it's fair to say, but I mean, I, f I feel like Liquid is, is the type of team that maybe Orbit could steal something from. I, I, I don't know why. I'm just getting that feeling. Maybe it's just because I'm so positive towards Orbit, but hey. You just want to see the story happen, but I, I do, do agree with you. It's not like Liquid is dominating this game in, by any means. Um, Had we seen the sniper in in uh, Orbit's hands at any point early in this game that could have at least stopped the capture, could have at least set up a time for them to capture. It just seems like these two crucial battles, two separate times getting control of Snipe side has always gone in Liquid's favor. And looks like once again, we do see Orbit on the back foot, on the spawn kill and Ace run the flag towards Fountain. And just as Ace picks up that flag, he does fall. Uh, APG is gonna go down as well. I believe that flag 
is stuck in that orbit base, so they were able to defend themselves there, so props to them for that. Of course, Liquid 2-0 up is uh, a dangerous thought if you're an orbit fan. An orbit now actually pulling the flag. Hines with DMR checks over towards bottom middle, finds Dremis, able to pick up that kill, looks for the second up top. Not going to connect with it. Instead gets the assist. Trevor Holly drops down directly in front of him. That's going to be Heinz cleaning him up. Flag should be returned. And Heinz going on a little bit of a rampage there. Unfortunately, not able to pick up Sweaty Eddie though. Yeah, that was a great pull by Orbit, actually. The biggest factor in that being stopped was Unlegit, who was over at Snipebridge with Sniper. Unlegit ended up getting a kill over at the elbow. Ended up helping finish off and got the assist of the flag runner, and I believe got no scope on that player that tried charging sniper. So he had an effect on three different kills to help stop that flag run. Well, Firebird, more orbit inside the liquid base, turns around. We'll have, I believe that's APG challenging. He picks up the kill. Does fall though, but numerical advantage momentarily in orbit's favor. However, as you can see, thanks to uh, the wonderful vision. There, on the broadcasting mode, they didn't really have map control to go for that pull. So now, just set up for those power weapons. Orbit do get control of rockets. Now the question is sniper rifle. Firebird pretty much by himself there for Orbit. There's going to be two players from Liquid Challenging. APG is one of them, and APG picks up the kill, and that is going to be Ace getting sniper control. Yeah, and that seems to be uh, something that's happened to Mad throughout this entire match, though. I have not seen the sniper in the hands of Orbit for more than just a second or two. And Sniper is by far the strongest weapon here on Coliseum. Sure, scatter shots can be very good situational. Sure, the rockets are great when you finally get up close to the opponents. But Sniper is that opportunity creator where you can be almost in any situation. And what a great ground pound by APG for the double kill. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that over by Snipe side, but APG is doing some work. He is not happy about that out AR earlier and took down another member, so APG by himself has taken out three members just recently. But well, seems like Orbit's not stopping. Uh, as as I said that before, APG got three kills. There was like three more members that somehow spawned near Cave and just pushed out towards Snipe side. So just a constant stream of Orbit members pushing over towards that Snipe side. As we saw that ground pound come in, Ace actually made a relatively heads up play, had that sniper rifle out, actually got rushed. I decided just to kind of jump off the map, make sure he dropped that sniper rifle so Orbit couldn't get any control of it. And that continued control of sniper rifle uh, it is obviously doing Liquid good, good favor so far, uh, but the score's still very fragile. Walsh, it's just a one flag game with four and a half minutes still to play. Uh, looking over now at uh, Demaris's perspective, okay, Kyle, he has the assault rifle out, looks as if he's going to challenge, backs away, is weak. APG, though, with two, has got a shot in his hand, and legit able to get that melee flag away once again for Liquid. Will they be able to convert this one to a flag? Trevor Holick picks up a big kill. That's actually going to be two for him. Flag down on Snipe Ramp, and Demaris off spawn gets the perfect, and the, the, the kill there looks as if the return's going to come in. Beautiful, beautiful defensive play from Orbit, but we haven't seen that on the attacking standpoint. We only ever see those clutch plays defensively from Orbit. Yes, that, and that was a much-needed clutch play defensively. But we may see this finally converted. Um, I'm not sure who ran it. I believe it's Eddie who somehow snuck over to the liquid base and pulled the flag. Heinz trying to desperately get this recovery. I believe Firebird trades with him, but this could be the cat that you want to see. This uh, this orbit push all the way towards the rocket side. They haven't returned the flag just yet. Finally, the re comes in. Sweaty Eddie, he's desperately trying to track down APG. Pops the shield. Can he get the kill? Pulls out the assault rifle. Desperately firing. Firebird does get the assist, but will the flag be returned? A big, big win comes in from Heinz with the melee. The flag halfway through to return. I believe it has been picked up. The question is, will it be running? I'm pretty sure it will. Heinz is going to watch his teammate jump it in. No, flag down, but will be picked up and converted. A crazy series of events. Orbit now find themselves two flags down. Liquid, scrappy flag run, but it's a point on the board nevertheless. Yeah, it's, uh, like you said, point on the board at the end. It just seems like when Orbit, they start to have these glimmers of hope, like they start to have some great plays where they get two, three down, like in this flag stop. They just don't seem to execute all the way through. Um, they've done a great job defensively. They've obviously been uh, getting outslayed this game so far. I don't have an exact number on how many, how much they've been getting outslayed. But the point being is, <laughs> they finally had the flag on their half of the map, and they just seemed to try to force it. They had it over on their side rockets, and rather than slow it down, get some slays, they gave up too much map control. And with that, that's going to be the third and final flag cap for Mr. Richie Hines for the 3-0 victory for Liquid. 3-0 sounds uh, much more convincing than that game probably was. 
you, you talk about the outslaying, and you just have to look at the scoreboard, and you realize just how drastically Orbit did get outslayed. Heinz with 26, Unlegit 23, APG 25, Ace had 15. Uh, meanwhile, most amount of kills for Orbit there was Sweaty Eddie with 19. Despite yeah, that, I'll no say one... by 24 kills that game. Yeah, so good mass that's a <laughs> it's a massive amount over the course of Definitely. well, it's it's honestly not that massive of, over the course of like a 10 minute game. We're talking about you know a little bit like two two and a half kills per minute. But as we saw earlier in that game, we did not see Orbit pushed out of their base very far at all. Like every time they tried to make a push towards snipe side, just shut down. Every single time we saw a sniper rifle in the hands of Ace, in the hands of Unlegit over on Snipe Bridge. They just did not have much map presence early on, but we're, they still kept the game very close. It was only a one cap game for the first five, six minutes. Yep, it was a, it was a close game, that's for sure. Uh, for now, we're going to get a quick commercial break. When we return, though, we will have game number two. Be right back.